What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back for some more Kirby Squeak Squad. So last time we did it. Collect all the treasure chests, defeated Dark Nebula, and saved Planet Popstar. I got Kirby's shortcake back. For this part, you may notice I have the screens arranged a little bit differently. That's because I'm going to show off the mini games here. It's a Kirby game. Why wouldn't it have sub games? Well, I guess if it's the original Kirby's Dream Land, but that's besides the point. So we have Speedy Tea Time, Smash Ride, Treasure Shot. And we have Boss Endurance, of course. Once again, it's a Kirby game. It was showing off each of these mini games. You are able to play these games uh, multi card and single card. Obviously, it is a function of the Wii U, but it actually uh, retains these screens. Wow, that's, uh, that's something else. Even though it's utterly useless here. But let's just go ahead and show off these games. I'm going to show off level 1. Level 2 and level 3. Level 3 is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show off level 1 first. Okay, so this is basically, uh, what's it called? Samurai Kirby? But you want to avoid the bombs. You want to tap the short case and avoid the bombs. Here we go. Okay, so if Storo does not get a single short cake, you'll actually, uh, Pound the table in frustration. Alright, let's continue and I'm going to show off level 3. Level 3, quite frankly, is no joke! See, I didn't get a single one right there. Ugh, it's possible for all of them to be bombs. So yeah, I'm not even going to get a single one. Yeah, level 3 subgames in Kirby Squeeze Squad are no joke. If you're looking for a challenge, you'll definitely find it here. Let's move on to Smash Ride next. So you slide the star the direction you want to fly, hold the star to smash attack. It's actually a trick for this game, okay. You want to look at the top screen and control Kirby's mover with the bottom. Because otherwise, it's about sliding. Ugh. Well, I got one point. Really? I'm just breaking even. Seriously? Come on, I'm not really going to lose on level 1, am I? Ugh. Not that the uh, winning or losing animation is anything special. Seriously? I know it's been a while since I played these, but... Oh my lord, cut me some slack, game! Yeah, I think that's, the, that's really the only way that you can... Uh, really get points in this game. There we go. The trick is to s release as you s release a charge as you slide. Did I actually- wow. Okay, well somehow I got more points than Spinny. And now let's show off level 3 of this minigame. Like as I said for speedy tea time, level 3 is no joke. Come on, I would like to get at least one point, please. There we go, I got a few. I wanted to at least get a point. And no, not that bad at this. I'm obviously looking at the Wii U gamepad to play this minigame, because... Train doing the TV screen would suck! Ay ay ay. Yeah, and if they hit you before you actually release a charge, you'll be knocked out of it. Okay, come on. This gamepad touchscreen is just, uh, not good. Bam, got one point, at least. Now, there's also the fact that it's basically four against one, and guess who the one is? You! Okay. So let's show off the last minigame, Treasure Shot. As you slide to shoot, there are three directions, get lots of food. Different food may actually require different amounts of, uh, hits. Let's see here. You also want to avoid the bombs. The winning and losing animation is also nothing special for this minigame. So yeah, if you get a bomb, then you will be stunned for a little bit. Yeah, that big thing requires a lot of hits. I used to be really good at this minigame. I can't believe I actually gave that to him. Wow. I used to be really good at this minigame, but, uh... You know, it's been a while, so I essentially lost all my skills. There we go, so that's level 1. 
41 points to 12. And let's show off level 3. Once again, level 3 is no joke. You're also going to be dealing with bombs. So it does not matter who uh, actually built up the combo for the big items. Uh, whoever hits it last is actually going to be the one that gets it. If Doc hits a bomb, he will actually teeter in his UFO. What do you mean he got that? Okay. No, oh, I got another 5 points right at the end. 38 to 23. Yeah, level 3 is no joke. As you might expect, level 2 is middle of the road. Alright, now I am not stupid. I am going to go ahead and switch the touch screens back to where they were. And show off boss endurance. Okay. So boss endurance is might expect is you have to beat all the bosses in one life. So this room actually allows us to select whatever copyability that we want. This is actually the room that is seen if in the center of the world map. We have access to every copyability of the game, including the triple star cane. But the problem is, uh, you don't get access to this in the main story until the final boss. And it's like, seriously? We could have used this a lot earlier. Okay, so we also have this interesting copy ability here, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. You can pick five copy abilities, and that's all you get. You cannot come back here. So choose your five copy abilities wisely. And... Go in with bravery. Gonna take fire and ice. Gonna go ahead and rearrange these bubbles. Very carefully, I almost mixed tornado. Alright. So yeah, we cannot go back. See? And we effectively have room for four copy abilities, because uh, going into King DDD. You'll get one Maxim Tomato, and that's it. So you have to make a count. Use it wisely. You know what? I don't know why I didn't take Cutter. In the original Let's Play, I screwed up big time on uh, the Volcano Boss. And it ended up costing me my Tornado. So hopefully I will not repeat that mistake. Okay. Mrs. Molly's next. The exploit absolutely will work, but may it may not be best to abuse it. Ugh. Those rocks explode too. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I can nail her with this, then this attack will finish her off. Okay, so this Mecha Cracker is next. I'm going to try to save Tornado if I can help it. I'm going to go ahead and start wailing on him with fire. Oh lord. I wasn't even thinking about that for a second. That the fire could remove the clouds. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's not bringing it back. Drop so many waddle dews. Ugh. Come on, give me ice back, please. Okay, you're not timed in this boss endurance or anything, so don't worry about trying to go for a record. I guess I'm gonna take it. Okay, be very careful here. I'm trying to make sure that I don't lose tornado. So if you have the sleep scroll, you will be able to recover a, a small amount of damage with sleep. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. So on the note of recovering damage from recovering damage with sleep, I guess I can show that off a little bit later. Okay, get rid of your copy ability. To put it in Kirby's mouth. Tap the sleep bubble. And then take back your copy ability. 
on the note of using magic's uh magic's roulette supposedly if you manage to stop on the one up kirby will actually get an honest to goodness extra life if that's actually the case then this is the only time in kirby history where kirby can have an extra life in a boss endurance okay this is the boss that i'm afraid of because i screwed up i screwed up big time the original let's play and it cost me my tornado okay okay i'm going to play this very cautiously yes that was the attack that forced me to lose my tornado and i want to keep tornado Okay, so wait for him to do that attack. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Doesn't know these stupid rocks actually explode. Okay. Wait for him to do that attack. My lord, I did it again. I did it again! I honest to goodness thought it was going to be a repeat of the original Let's Play. Okay. I still have Tornado. So Daroach is next. Shouldn't be too bad. I know, famous last words. But I still have my M Tomato. Whereas I... Ugh, come on. Did not the original Let's Play. Ah, come on! Do not do this to me, game. I got past that stupid owl boss. I got past the stupid owl boss and I kept tornado. Okay, remember that you have the slide. The slide is not useful for defeating bosses, but it is useful for dodging. Okay. Meta Knight is next, and I still have tornado. As long as I do not stupidly use the magic bubble, I'll be fine. Yeah, because... I wouldn't say that Meta Knight is a joke with Tornado. Because, like I said before, he's still a damn dirty no-good cheater in this game. But with Tornado, he's a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, look at those attacks! And how do you dodge all of them? Okay. Yeah, look, he's still blocking our shots, too. Come on! Oh, come on! He's dead! I better get Tornado back. I... I almost actually decided... I almost lifted, uh... Magic into Kirby's mouth. Okay, so... I'm taking the stylus... I'm getting rid of magic, because I don't need it. Alright, so second verse same as the first. And this time around, I actually have Tornado. The original Let's Play, I had Cutter when I got to this point. That, that, honest, that exploit uh, really work, really does work. Okay, not what I was trying to do. I thought that he was going to do the ice attack. That move, yeah. Let me see here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now he's going to drop his triple star cane like he did in the main story. And if you are running low on health, don't worry. You will still go through that last section before Dark Nebula. So you will get the extra M Tomato, and you will get the piece of chicken and if you ever lose the triple star cane you will be able to grab a copy ability with the stars that dark nebula releases that Mega almost got me okay yeah this boss endurance run is going way smoother than the original let's play like i said in the original let's play that stupid owl boss screwed me out of my tornado and all because i made a mistake and I had to resort to uh, Cutter, which I was lucky enough to get 
For real one, you've seen Men in a Be a Cheater, you can watch the original Let's Play. I showed that off in Boss Endurance. Alright, Dark Nivola, I defeated you once before. I'm pretty sure I can do it again. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, so there's his fire form. So he is going to spawn some stars. Okay, the downside is that Kirby has to spin an air bullet before he can attack. He's going to change? Yes. There's his ice form again. Okay. So we can get rid of the ice that he creates with the triple star cane. Okay, there's a bit of a delay when using the triple star. Yeah, there's a chance that he'll actually just uh, go again. So that's why I recommend staying in the the corner. Come on. Okay, come on, pal. Oh my lord, are you gonna change forms or what? Okay, he's not changing forms. Every time he goes up there, I keep thinking he's gonna change. Oh, now he's doing it. Okay, so I guess we're not gonna be seeing his uh, Thunder Forms attacks. Ugh. Anyway, that's it. That's boss endurance. All right. Very nice. Yeah, this boss endurance run went way more smoothly than the original Let's Play. Just saying. Okay, very nice. And that's all you get for being the boss endurance. Nothing special. Well, that'll just about do it for this video, huh? Next time at Kirby Squeak Squad, I'm going to show off some of the extras of the game. See you then.